With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Two point charges of same magnitude and opposite sign are fixed at a point A and B. A third small point charge is to be balanced at point P by electrostatic force due to these two charges at point P. So we want the point P position. So if you see here, here we know that because of a charge Q at a distance R, the electric field will be KQ square by R. If I say this is charge at O and the, at point P, it will be KQ square by R square. If the charge is positive, it will be directed away. And if it, the charge will be negative, it will be directed toward. Right. So if I want at uh, any point P the electric field to be zero, so how the electric field could be zero? If I say that at any point P the electric field is zero, it means that at point P the electric field because of A charge and electric field because of the charge at B should be equal and opposite, should be equal and opposite. This is the only way by which the P point could have the zero electric field, equal and opposite electric field, right? So how the charge, how the electric field can be equal and opposite? If I say here that it is Ea and it is Eb, they both, both are having equal magnitude. So I'll write down Kq square by Ra square. So the distance from A charge and distance from B charge should be equal, all right, to have same magnitude, to have same magnitude. But we want the opposite direction, equal magnitude, equal magnitude and opposite direction. So if you see for the uh, for the magnitude to be same, this distance should be equal. So when the distance could be equal, it could be only equal on this line, on this bisector line. On this bisector line, the, the distance from A charge and distance from B charge, it will be same. on bisector line distance from A that is RA only on bisector line only if you take any other point other than the bisector line if you take the AD point here it will be nearer if you move in short if you move left of it it will be nearer to A if you move right of it, it will be nearer to B. All right. Let me say this again. If you move left of this bisector line, the charge will be nearer to A. Right of it, it will be nearer to B. RA is equals to RB. Now let's check whether the electric field direction is opposite or not. So because of this, A, it will be directed away since it is a positive charge. And uh, because of this B, it will be directed towards since it is a negative charge. So if you see, because of A, it is directed away. Because of B, it is directed toward. So can you see it is not opposite for the two vector to be having vector sum 0? They should be equal and opposite, but they are not. If you see here. Here the electric field because of A it will be this, because of B it will be this. So here also they are having equal magnitude. So magnitude wise equal, but they are in same direction. So in short, we are not getting any point. On the bisector line, the distance of the, uh, the point from the two charges is same, but they are not opposite, right? And the condition is uh, to be the electric field zero at point P is they should have equal magnitude and opposite direction, which is not satisfying anywhere. So D is the correct. Thank you.
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.